celebrating a strong first quarter as well as a recent award. Joining me today is Mike Bell, the Managing Director for First Graphene. Mike, it's a pleasure to have you on again. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Pleasure to be here. Congratulations on the recent award that you won over in the UK. Uh, can you elaborate on what this is and why it's such a key milestone for First Graphene? It's actually a milestone for a specific segment. So as previously announced, we started a project called the Hype Store, which is with a number of different parties to develop a fifth generation hydrogen storage tank. Now, where it differs is the material itself on the inside of the tank uses graphene and the barrier properties of graphene to stop hydrogen leaking out through the impermeability of it. So the tank offers you know, a higher performance tank but also has a self-healing property. So if the tank is punctured, it has the ability to self-heal. Uh, so that's what we've we specifically won the award for. It is around the um, composites industry, the UK composites industry, and it's for innovation in composite materials. Uh, we'll touch on some other innovation that you have developed recently, but first of all, let's dive into those first quarter results. I note, I note that you have the lowest cash burn to date, uh, as well as some other notable achievements. Can you run me through them? Yeah, so we manage or monitor our, our growth through our reoccurring graphene sales. So that's our main measure of growth. We have development growth, grant funding on top of that, but the graphene reoccurring portion is how we uh, gauge whether we're growing. Uh, so we had our strongest Q1 in terms of sales. You know, these, yeah, admittedly, these are, are smaller numbers as we start to evolve into that commercial world, uh, but it was our strongest quarter. And to go with that, it's also our lowest cash burn. Um, cash burn gives us sort of a predictable plot uh, in, in reaching that break-even point. Uh, but more importantly, it is generally a Q1 is your most expensive quarter uh, due to audit you know, costs and things like that from your previous financial year. So really strong position to be in. Probably the most exciting bit of that is we start Q2, we're now a month into Q2. Uh, we've started really strongly. Uh, we had a, a significant order pushed through late in the uh, last financial year, which will be executed within Q2. So that really gives our sales a bit of a bump. Uh, so Q's looking, Q2 is looking pretty exciting for us. Let's talk about Q2. Now, as I hinted at the start of today's conversation, you are quite an innovative company, uh, recently improving work safety boots on site. Uh, can you run me through what that innovation is with Crushers, uh, as well as the overall outlook for Q2? Yeah, the, so the Crushers opportunity is one we kicked off um, earlier in this calendar year and provides a graphene enhanced TPU which is basically a thermoplastic that goes into the, the soles of your work boots. So we enhance the abrasion resistance of that. So your work boots essentially last longer. There's lots of opportunities in the work, but work boots, both you know, it's including TPUs, rubbers, but also in composite caps totally you know, to replace steel toe caps. Uh, so there's lots of opportunity there. Uh, Crushers brand was our second um, shoe company that we've sort of moved into a production sense with. But as with all things, new materials going into these sort of spaces, they have a bit of a snowball effect. So within Q1, we picked up two new shoe opportunities. So projects that work, work with two new shoe manufacturers. And that is just due to the impact we've had through our, our previous success. So that's great to see. So Q2 and, and moving into early next year, we should see further traction in that space, in the, in the shoe space. With most things, um, we gauge you know, what, what is good progress for us is just to keep up adding applications where you're moving a, a client into production. We've had a couple in, uh, in composites in this past quarter. A lot of it is protected under NDA, but you know, we're making progress in that space. Uh, Michael, this is a first for me. I've been able to talk about the two things I love most, most minerals and shoes. Thank you so much for your time today. It is great to hear about the journey of First Graphene and I look forward to future, future updates. Thank you so much. Look forward to it.